Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to today's video. I am quite happy to be sharing this today because over the last few streams I have been working hard to make a build where these rugged gauntlets will work. I just want to do a little bit of an intro so we can catch up on what these are if you don't know or whatever. They are a new exotic that came in season 3 and in the PTS when they were first kind of like announced everybody including myself was saying they are absolutely pointless. They're just going to be exotic components or what are they doing? How is this going to like benefit any build? So when the, the release came out, season three, and everybody got a look at this, um, the, again, the same sort of scenario is happening. Everybody's saying they're pointless. They're just going to be exotic components. People really don't like the looks of these. So let's just take a quick look. We've got... Um, the Rugged Gauntlets, they are uh, an exotic pair of gloves. They come with weapon damage, critical hit chance, critical hit damage. And the exotic talent that you have is Iron Grip, where it reduces the recoil penalty by 50% when hip firing and also reduces the recoil penalty by 50% when blind firing from cover. Yannick also mentioned in the special report stream that they also improve accuracy and stability, so weapon handling. So I have been able to make a real good build using these exotic gloves. And you can see some clips on screen now of it in action early days. At first, I was thinking about things like a team support build. We did try to work with that and it wasn't really working. I scrapped the final piece that we came up with and then I moved on to a DPS build, an all-out DPS build. I'm using glass cannon here, I'm blind firing and I'm using an SVD. In fact, I'm using the exotic dread edict in this clip here. I do change that later as, as you'll find out when we carry on with the video and discuss how this evolves. Um, but it works very well. Now, if we're going to say these gloves are viable, I think it's very important that it competes with what's already out there. If it's not going to compete, it doesn't need to necessarily beat it, but what it needs to do is compete and just give you a different way of playing, maybe a different play style, and that's exactly what this build does. And then you want to find out what is the limitations of this build. You know, is it just going to be for something casual like open world farming on heroic? Is it going to be for raids? Is it going to be situational? Or is it going to be good enough for like legendary content? Well, this build I put together, I tested out on legendary content and it did compete with the meta right now, which is striker. And it competed very, very well. So to put the build to the test, what we did is we ran a DUA Legendary. I know it's the easiest one, but it's a good opportunity to really just test the build and see what damage output I could get and how it compared to the Meta Striker build. So Mew was running that. I was running this build I put together with the new exotic rugged gloves. We had a crowd control and we had a healer and it performed very good. I'm using the Dread Edict in the first run of DUA. But by the end of it, I did notice some flaws by using that gun. I felt like I was just reloading all of the time. I felt I was lo losing a lot of DPS because of that. I was hitting very, very hard while blind firing. And you can just see in these clips how much it beams by blind firing. And, um, but there's lo lots of positives as well. At the end of our first run of DUA, you can see the stats here. You're looking at myself here on the left and Mew. This is what we're comparing. You'll notice that the kill count is much lower. I put this down to using an SVD really, having to reload more, not having like that more sustained damage going out. So I am going to get less kills, but if you look at the damage, we are pretty much on par. The damage is going out. And my accuracy is actually higher at 58%, even though I'm blind firing throughout this whole mission, pretty much. Now, the damage taken is the key part here. This build I'll show you soon. You'll see that it's got perfect glass cannon on it. So I'm taking a 60% uh, debuff of damage. I'm taking 60% more damage when it's incoming, you know, and yet I was able to take more than half less of the damage that Mew did because I'm just constantly in cover blind firing. So you're able to get so much more damage output with this build without taking damage, which means glass cannon is a very good play and you don't need to worry so much about that extra incoming damage. You can also see that I had no deaths compared to Mew's two deaths. And I even had slightly more headshot kills. I had two more than Mew. And another stat you might be looking at there is the damage dealt to named enemies. This is the one at the very end. Mew dealt a ton of damage. the way we had him set up. He was right in the face with an Ouroboros and Striker build. I barely got any shots off, to be honest with you. But on the next one I'll show you in a minute, those numbers are a little bit different. 
So for the next run, we had one more run at DUA with everything exactly the same, but I just made some adjustments to the build to make, uh, just to kind of counter the things I didn't like for the first run. I brought in the busy little B to try and like just prep some extra damage before I switched to the SVD. And I took the Dread Edict out for legendary missions because like I said, the reload just felt like it was constant. I felt like I was reloading more times than I was shooting. And I just wanted to have more of a mag size so i went and got a paratrooper svd and i threw lucky shot on it which meant any shot that i missed from cover would return to the magazine and i could just keep on spamming this SV svd constantly this felt absolutely brilliant it felt like a huge improvement and you can see on the clip here where i'm just spamming it from blind cover hitting enemies getting tons of damage and just doing a great deal for my squad our healer Google had a DQ right on the final boss of this mission, which is why there's only three here. But it was exactly the same. You can see I did get a few more kills this time around at 87 compared to, I think it was 77 before. Uh, my accuracy was kind of the same, a little bit less than Muse this time at 45%. But the damage taken was still the same. And my damage overall going out was still around about the same. So although the stats were very similar from using the dread edict on the build it was still it still felt so much better my damage dealt to named enemies there at the end was much better as well and much more even with the striker build again uh, i had no deaths while playing this and my headshot kills this time i only managed to get 10 i think that's because i was spamming a lot more this time knowing that i had much more ammo to use so now let's take you through the build. This is what it looks like. We have the sharpshooter specialization, mainly for the um, extra stability that it puts on your build, but also for the extra headshot damage as well. That is also going to come into play, I guess. We have the paratrooper SVD as your primary weapon. Uh, this has marksman rifle damage on it, headshot damage on it. You want damage to target out of cover. And I've got lucky shot, as I mentioned, where the magazine capacity is increased, but also you have a 100% chance to return the magazine when you miss a shot. Because as good as these like exotic gloves are, you are blind firing there are going to be shots missed not every shot is going to hit otherwise this would be pr pretty much a cheat code um so it works very well you, you're not going to get like the extra damage buff from a damage talent but i can't recommend that enough I, I really enjoyed using it with the talent i have a secondary as a famas just for moments where i need to switch out of the svd now when you are blind firing i don't know whether you've uh, blind fired before but when you're in an elevated position you can't blind fire below you so that does become a little bit of an issue so i can switch to my famos for that if i need to and that's just your, your standard one really assault rifle damage health damage damage target out of cover and strained the busy little bee this was a great suggestion made in chat by somebody i forgot who it was but they said that uh, as i had a exotic freed up by dropping the dread edict i could use this instead and at the start of every encounter what you want to do is just get this out spray as many enemies as you can to get the stacks up then switch to your paratrooper just for that increased burst of damage for like 10 seconds it was incredible it was a great suggestion and i'm keeping this on that's pistol damage damage to target out of cover and there's the talent there basically you can go up to a 10 stack every single stack you get is going to be 20 percent weapon damage to a maximum of 200 and when you switch to the paratrooper svd then you get that extra damage for 10 seconds while you're spamming those enemies the exotic gloves we've already shown these right at the start of the video so these are the rugged gauntlets weapon damage crit chance crit damage and i'm only really using the minus 50 percent recoil penalty when blind firing i don't think you can really make a build around hip firing i have been thinking about it like i think it will count if you have a crusader shield or something like that and you're shooting from that and you're not aiming that should class as hip firing so maybe a build around that in the future but i was just focusing on the blind firing for this one i go three piece providence you don't need the perfect versions for this but the gift is the perfect vigilance i got weapon damage credit chance credit damage a credit damage mod and that increases my weapon damage by 25 percent taking damage disables that buff but because the play style you don't actually take damage a lot at a time and with the perfect vigilance it's only 
for three seconds that it gets disabled. The second Providence piece is the chest with perfect glass cannon. I'm amplifying all my damage by 30% at a cost to 60% extra damage incoming. Uh, but again, I've already spoke about this. You are behind cover, you're blind firing, survivability just by doing that alone is tremendous. So you really don't need to worry too much about that extra damage because you're blind firing all the time. This has weapon damage, critter chance, critter damage, and a critter damage mod. We're going all red, as much damage as possible. Third Providence piece, which then procs all three Providence bonuses. Headshot damage, credit chance, and credit damage. This holster has weapon damage, credit damage, and credit chance rolled onto it. We have the Fox's Prayer knee pads, which is obviously best in slot for DPS builds. Gives me some rifle damage that I'm not using at all, but I want the damage to target out of cover that the Fox's Prayer comes with. I throw crit damage on that. They have weapon damage on. And then finally, a Grupo Mask. For the One Piece Grupo, I'm getting an extra 15% critic damage. They have weapon damage, critic chance, critic damage, and a critical hit damage mod on also. And that's the build in full. You can kind of run any skills that you want with that. I was just going decoy and revive hive. And if you want to take a look at the stats of the build, you'll see that I am reaching the critical hit chance nearly at 60%. Once I optimize my critic chance roll on one of the pieces, that will be 60%. And my critical hit damage is 180.6%. And with the Power Trooper SVD, the headshot damage there is going to be 100%. 139% from when I do hit the heads. So again, my purpose for making this build and the test of these gloves was just to see if they could be viable. And like I said at the start, it had to compete with the best that there already is in the game. Otherwise, what is the point? As long as it competes and it can give you a different play style, it is viable. And I feel like I've proved that these gloves are, which makes me, again, happy to release this video for you today. I don't think these gloves are as bad as people think. And you can make them work even at legendary level i had a ton of fun with this i can't wait now to experiment with like different sort of builds around them as well and i hope that this has shown you that maybe there is some potential you know let me know in the comments what you think if this video is giving you any ideas of what you want to do now the power trooper svd might not just be the only weapon to use in the game there are only going to be certain weapons that do work though i'd say any weapon has to have some kind of good blind fire anyway to begin with like i tried some rifles out they were terrible some assault rifles they were terrible there's going to be other weapons though and if you find them you could maybe do even more with a build similar to this before we end this video i do want to show you one more test that i did with the exotic gauntlets before i even put these this build together and it was in the firing range and i set this one here at the longest distance you can see how far that target is away and what i've done now is just thrown on an all blue build so i'm causing a little damage and you can really see how these gloves take effect so i've currently got the gloves on i got the power trooper svd it's at a very long distance you'll see like how many shots do miss because quite a lot do if i'm being honest with you but you'll also see how quick i take it out with the gloves so we're going to start firing and you'll see that most of the shots are hitting there it did quite good and i got rid of the target quite quick even at that range just blind firing didn't even need a reload for that first one normally it will take a reload though you will miss a few more shots like probably this one now there you go i'm just getting a reload in before i finish it but you can see how the gloves work and how well they work there now I've just took those gloves off, so we no longer got the rugged gloves on. Um, I've just thrown some bloody knuckles on, so they're exactly the same stat-wise. And look how many more shots miss now, and how unstable the cursor is when I'm blind firing. It's still getting the shots in, it's just a lot more difficult to handle, and you can see I'm having to reload two times before the target goes in fact i'm struggling to get the third one there there you go nearly nearly had to reload three times there the difference is very clear on what those gloves do when they're on your build and when you're blind firing without them the recoil just makes it a little bit more difficult to land those distant shots anyway and also the accuracy is nowhere near as good as when those gloves are on 
And then another thing that you can do if you don't mind losing the damage talent from your chest piece like glass cannon, you could add even more weapon handling by using braced. I've just crafted a braced chest piece and the perfect one. And what I've done is thrown on the rugged gloves. And you can see now just how good it is if I have braced and the rugged gloves. It makes it even more it makes it beam even more i'm hardly missing any shots whatsoever with the svd while blind firing at that range and never do i even need to reload the weapon it's taking the target out every time without a reload so that's also an option and that does bring us to the end of the video. My aim today was to sell these rugged exotic gloves to you. And I hope I did. Now, I know there's going to be people in the comments that say, why would I even come away from Striker? This isn't for you. If you're happy with the meta and you don't like adjusting your playstyle or trying other things, and that's absolutely fine. I love Strikers myself. I think it's absolutely brilliant. But I do like experimenting with stuff. And when people are saying something is absolutely useless, it just challenges me to try and prove that it isn't and i do feel i've done that this adds a completely different play style for you to try and see if you enjoy like who just sits there blind firing well give it a go it was it was very fun i really enjoyed it and i'm going to be playing more of this build in streams in the future just to see how it uh, how it does on other legendary missions i'm pretty sure i can go through every legendary mission with this and have a ton of fun i'm even thinking about getting three people together with this build and one healer and seeing how we do i'm going to play around more with the gloves expect another build around a skill dps hybrid very soon because i think these gloves will work very well for that and then maybe after that i might have some other ideas i'm also aiming to move on to some other builds as well in the near future so make sure you hit subscribe to catch those don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it today and let me know what you think of this build and these gloves down in the comments and any ideas that you have thank you so much for watching again i hope that i've sold the gloves to you until next time take care and peace out